The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, Inutabi here with the Transformers unboxing. Today we're going to take a look at Autobot Headmaster Brainstorm. And we're doing this, it's kind of the Headmasters are making their turn. They're coming back in like a G1 packaging. It's the Titans Return versions with like Cartoon Deco. Very excited to get it. Just, I'll probably leave them in the box because the box looks so awesome. But it's time, it's it's time to take something out of the packaging. Yes, I know that's not what I normally do, but here it is. Walgreens exclusive, Brainstorm. Always like this figure. But I just, I can't do it anymore, folks. i got to take it out of the box. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Let's get to work. All right. He comes with a card. I'm leaving the packaging here. Comes with some terrible instructions that old people like me can't read because of the dark colors. Bam. And he comes with his nose cone for his space fighter mode thing, whatever he is. Which is in a, a green here. Yeah, got a a green. Let's flip up. I gotta read directions, but from the thing, I guess you can also hold it and use it as a shield as well. This has been the packaging since it was released. First time opening. Here's his blaster. Some nice detail on that. All green. Kind of, kind of a little lackluster, but not too bad. Here's the figure itself, and I'm, I'm actually impressed because a lot of these headmasters you get out of the packaging, there the legs are floppy, and this guy's fairly tight. I mean, he's, he's almost siege level tightness in the legs and stuff, which is actually pretty impressive. Here's the headmaster itself. I like the head sculpt with the mask. I don't like the, the open face. One. I don't remember which version that is, but I don't like that one. Here he is, the tiny headmaster. I always put a lot of detail in these guys. There's not much paint, but this one doesn't look bad. In the back, and all you do is fold them up together and plugs right in. Okay, plugs right in. So you can look around. Arms go around 360, part transformation it goes out. It's got upper bicep rotation. It's got a 90 degree elbow bend. Wrist do not rotate or anything. Got a lot of stuff hanging off the arms. Uh, uh, the cockpit here is kind of kind of yellowish. Got a lot of Autobot symbols, but that looks pretty cool. And then we've got this, I guess, like tampo on details on the wings and on the legs. Feet look pretty good. You know, there's no ankle rockers or anything like that would basically Titans return. But I think overall, this is a good looking figure. Here's the back of him. Autobot symbols. Stamp on each wing. Back is fairly clean. I mean, you can see the mushroom peg and a little hollow in this right there on the waist, but overall a lot of detail in the back right there. I mean, it's not a bad looking figure. And you know, this is always, they got a little rattling. I don't know what that is, but kind of Macarena. But yeah, not a bad looking figure. Yeah, we got a little bit of hotness here on the side, but the legs legs clean up pretty good, and, they're, and they compact in, so you know there's not a bunch of gaps or anything like that. So glad to add him to the shelf. All right, let's go through and transform him into space jet fighter mode. All right, here we go. I didn't show transformation on this because basically all you do is uh, fold the arms up, flip the legs over, and. and plug this for an in then that's basically it it's pretty simple it, it actually looks pretty good though i mean uh look underneath and it's pretty clean i mean a lot of hollowness right here we've got a wheel which i love we've got wheels right here so you can actually roll that's not a good example here but uh, i guess it's like some sort of uh spaceship i guess you could say 
You can take your little character here, your headmaster, and set him in. And he can fly, close the cockpit, like that, and he's inside. It's pretty color looking. I mean, look at all the details on this. Got kind of like some laser cannons here on the front. We got the big ones, air intakes, you know. Not very bad looking at all. Got the Autobot symbols here. Cleans up nicely in the rear. Even the, the joints for the legs where they fold over um, kind of look like the rear of like a spaceship. We've got the engines too. Like I said, it's pretty clear, you know, clean underneath. And we've got those tampo graphics. You can fold the wings up if you want to do something like that. Yeah, so pretty cool. I think it looks good in both modes. Uh, like I said, this is a Walgreens exclusive, so if you're trying to pick it up, uh, you can find it on eBay, but it can be pricey sometimes. I mean, it's not too bad, I guess, but you see them going all over the price with the, the place with the price from, like, I've seen 60, 80 bucks, which I, I wouldn't ever pay that, but that's what you could get. Um, yeah, so pretty cool little character here to Tesla. See how that shows up. But yeah, set him right in there. Uh, yeah, I think I like both modes in this guy. Usually uh, one looks a lot better than the other one, but I think both robot mode and spaceship mode look pretty good on this one. So not much to complain about that. And I can't wait. I cannot wait. I don't know about you. Put that in the comments if you don't mind. Let me know what you think about the G1 packaging on the new version of the Headmasters. Are you getting it? You keep it in the box, let me know. Also, put it in the comments, if you don't mind, what are you looking forward to next? What's your next thing uh, you want to see? You want you know, a video on, not just me, but what are you curious to see coming down the road? I have Blue Streak that should be here, I'm hoping tomorrow. So I can't wait to get that guy. I got a very interesting video coming on. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, check and subscribe to my channel. It means a whole lot to me. I'm trying to get to 1,000 before end of the year. It's going to be really rough at this point, just 300 and some away. It's, uh, it's going to be tough. But uh, I'm going to give it the best shot I can give it. And I appreciate anybody subscribed to the channel if you haven't checked it out. Check it out. I got a lot of content from Joe's to Star Wars to Transformers, third party, do it all, you know. Reject the con chat, mailbag stuff. We open things, we talk trash. Yeah, stupid, crazy things that got to be entertaining enough for you to hit the subscribe button. Also, check out the rest of Reject the Cons. It's Kato's Collection, Larkin's Lair, Sardom News 582. Please subscribe, check them out, like, share, care, all that good stuff. Thank you. See you down the road.